What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with a fun little video I thought that could be just a little bit of fun here. We could take Maurice Richard in his prime, toss him on the Montreal Canadiens, and see how he would do in the modern-day National Hockey League. If you haven't already, scroll down, hit that like button, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the rosters, we're going to go into player movement, and we're going to toss Maurice Richard on the Montreal Canadiens. So where do I go here? Player movement. There it is. All right. I got a huge truck going by my house. I hope we can't hear that. Look at this. So we got uh, NHL alumni all time. Maurice Richard, 94 overall sniper. So we're going to go down to the Montreal Canadiens on this side. And that's the only move we're going to make. We're not taking anyone from Montreal. We're just going to take Maurice Richard. And we are going to finish, put him on the Montreal Canadiens. Wow. He is by a mile and a half their best player. <laughs> Okay, first thing I wanted to do, though, I do want to go to the Montreal Canadiens and make sure he's, like, under contract. Age 101! <laughs> $12 million for four years was what they gave him. He has got a lot of X-Factors. <laughs> 5'10", 180 pounds. He's not the biggest guy in the world, but he's a freight train. He's a mean one. All right, so now... Let's go into rosters, create a new franchise mode with the Montreal Canadiens, and we're going to get through that one season and just see how he would do in today's National Hockey League. Pretty sure I just hit, I hit authentic, right? And then it would just be custom rosters. Pretty sure. All right, so here we go. We're at the main franchise mode screen. I just wanted to go to edit lines and see what line he would be on. I'm assuming number one. Yes. No, coach, head coach, head its lines. We'll turn that off. So we got... Richard with Suzuki and Druen on the top line. He's a 94 overall franchise player. My goodness, and look at that shooting. Not too damn bad. He fits really well on this team. Four years, 11.1. I guess I put us over the, the salary cap. <laughs> so let's take a look at what, what does the defense look like here. My goodness, Matheson, Savard, Edmondson, Weidman. But then the, that bottom two is not great. Jake Allen as the starter. Samuel Montembo as the backup. So there's our team. I'm going to go ahead to, uh, whoops, didn't mean to go that way. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go into the Detroit Red Wings game so I can get an original six thumbnail. <laughs> so I'm going to get that real quick, and then I'll be right back. All right, we got ourselves a thumbnail. We did end up winning that game immediately after I jumped out of it. Richard actually had a two-point night. He had a goal and an assist. So the way we're going to do this is the way we used to do it in NHL 22. I'm going to go to January 1st, see how everything's going, do a little stats update, and then we're just going to get right to the end of the season. So here we go. We'll probably be 35, 36 games into the season. So let's just not. All right, come on. <laughs> I'll see you there. All right, so as we get to January 1st, we don't have the greatest record in the world. We're 15, 17, and 5, but we got off to a catastrophically bad start. We were like, oh, 5 and 1 or something to start. <laughs> and now we're 6, 3, and 1 in our last 10. Look at this. Maurice Richard, 37 games into the season, is leading the team with 35 points. He does have 20 goals, putting him, what, you'd say, hmm. Say a 44, 45 goal pace, something like that. I don't know if they'll have his... No, they don't have his career stats. So in this, they did drop him down to 27 years old. Basically prime age for an NHL player. But not a horrible start to the season for him. He's playing almost 21 minutes a night. The rest of the team, not doing so bad either. Nick Suzuki, he's having a relatively good season as well. So, we are 7th in our division with the Red Wings being the only team behind us. And now, let's get to the end of the season, see if we can turn this thing around, and let's see how we do after the Boston Bruins game. Game number 82, baby. So here we are right at the end. We ended up being 38-37-7. Went on a nice little, uh, what was it, six-game winning streak to end the season. But... It was not good enough to pull us out of, I believe we were 8th in our division. Yes, we were. We were 8th in the division, and Maurice Richard led the team with 80 points in 82 games. Look at this guy. 44 goals, 36 assists, 80 points. Was a plus 3. Took 332 shots. Shot 13.3%. So he was pretty darn effective. But, I mean... The whole team, you know, the, the funny thing is the team as a whole, it was kind of a score by committee 
type of season, but I had the uh, the uh, gameplay sliders basically on default, and nobody got a hundred points in this. Trevor Zegris led the league with ninety seven. Terry behind him, Cooch, Jeru, Barzell, Matthews, McDavid, Marner, Aho. Kaprizov, Jesus, and there's Richard probably around a 11th or 12th in the NHL in points at the end of the season. Yeah, it's like I had like default rosters. I can't, I actually can't believe how low the scoring was in this, but Trevor Zegras, 22 years old, is your league leader in points with 97. This is like back in the day with the, uh, the, uh, the, the, when Jamie Benn won the Art Ross trophy <laughs> with like 85 points or something. Richard came second in goals behind shocker Austin Matthews. So that was a fun little experiment. We didn't, it didn't really pull the Canadians out of eighth place or anything, but it was an interesting little thing to take a look at. Just a fun little experiment. I kind of wish that the league wide points production would have been a little higher, but eh, it is what it is. Anyway, that's going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.